So just to recap, you were in that hideout waiting for another squad to arrive for almost two years? And then you met us. Yes. Thank you so much for saving me. I've been waiting a long time for the next squad to come in. It's been really lonely here. It's really lucky we were able to find you when we did. Eve, you're from the Airborne Squad Assault Force, right? Yes. Then I can be your engineering support. Of course, I will need proper equipment first. Equipment? Hmm. Well, I did want to say something earlier. What is it? Actually, there's a city where other survivors, besides me, live. What? Really? It's called Zion, humanity's last city. If we go there, there might be people that can help us. I have a safe house with some equipment I bet you would want. Then let's head there quickly! Before that, I would like to ask you something. Currently, Zion is holding out under the guidance of Orko who is also our spiritual leader. It's complicated. Eve, I imagine completing your mission isn't any easier having lost your comrades. So, please, help me save Zion. If you do, I promise Oracle and I will do everything we can to help you on your mission. It's about joining forces and helping each other, just like we did before. Sound good? Yes. Thanks to teamwork, I was able to get the Alpha Core. Maybe we can get more information in the city, Eve. Think about it. Yes, I suppose there's no reason to say no. However, I want to decide after hearing the story from that person you're calling Orkel. That shouldn't be a problem. Okay, I can definitely get behind that idea. Well, I guess that settles that. All right then, let's head to Zion. Surprising to see a city in a place like this. During its prime, over a hundred thousand people called it home. Obviously, now there are fewer. The place you see below is my safe house. The auxiliary engine's out, but it's weak, so things can get bumpy. Hold on tight. underneath the wasteland it's amazing even in the darkest times it's always safe to bet on human survival instinct so where do we go no time for breaks typical leave Oracle is in the presence chamber. Follow me.
like they built the city deep and high. Are all those walls around the city supposed to protect it from their Tiba attacks? How about we go to the presence chamber first? The walls don't seem to be as reinforced as well as they should be. Most likely, there will be a protocol to rescue everyone. It'll be a big project. But the only way it'll be possible to contact the colony... I don't have all day, Eve. Hustle. I hope that day comes soon. streets so empty is everyone hiding because of us we have a situation here a situation you'll see when you get to the presence chamber Come on, we're almost there. Hey, Rael. It's been a while. Looks like you brought guests. Very important guests. Can you open the door? Go. Oracle is waiting for you. See you soon, Rael. You 
Got a keen eye. That's right. The presence chamber is where memories are stored. The memories of those who couldn't make it back to Mother Sphere. Over here. I see we have guests. Welcome. Let me start the introductions. This is Zion's prophet, Oracle. I'm Airborne Squad member Eve. My name's Lily. Pleased to meet you. Adam has told me all about you. You defeated an Alpha Netiba. Could you show me anything it might have dropped? Here. Oh, it's an Alpha Core. Please, a moment. Your objective is to rid the world of the Elder Natiba, the leader of all other Natibas. Well, then I suppose you're trying to use the Alpha Core as a key to open the way forward to the nest. Is that right? How did you know that? Unfortunately, the nest cannot be opened with the Alpha Core alone. What? No way! But is... is there really no other way to reach the nest? By fusing four Alpha Cores together, you create something called a Master Core. Only with the Master Core will you be able to reach the very deepest corner of the nest. How... how do you know all this? Thanks to my personal link to the facility on the surface, I can search anywhere and everywhere on Earth. All I require is the right amount of energy. That would also mean you'd be able to track down the Alpha Natiba. That's enough for introductions. Adam, please insert the hypercell. Eve, here. Please follow Adam. This way. Oh, it's so dark. I really don't like the dark. This is the hyperdrive, the source of all of Zion's energy. Eve, the hypercell you brought will bring light to Zion. Here, try putting the hypercell in here. People here are in a deep sleep due to energy depletion. Carrying on this way, it can only bring darkness. Ave, please help us.
Thanks to the hypercell Eve acquired, they're safe. For the time being. I'm glad I was able to do something of significance. Do we need more hypercells? If the citizens ever want to wake up? Yes. We need three more hypercells if we ever want to fully rebuild Zion. Let's go back to Oracle and you can hear the rest of the story. Mar, outsiders. Thank you for your hard work. Thanks to you, the lives of tens of thousands of people have been extended. And my Preston link is also stabilizing. That's great news! Does that mean we can figure out the location of the Alpha Natiba now? All the Elder's energy is still being directed at maintaining the Cradle. Who... who are you? Oh, this here is Man, a Sentinel Commander. He also serves as Oracle's bodyguard. <laughs> My skills are still limited, shall we say. So I am not yet able to reach new areas. However, with the power of more hypercells, I'm certain I can track the location of the Alpha Natiba. That's why I'll have to ask you for a little more help. Altus Lavoir, a place out in the wasteland, a ruin of the past. Can we count on you to retrieve another hypercell from there? Eve, I'm sure it'll be of help. Yes, we have no other choice. Adam, Lily, I'll be counting on you. It won't be easy. Make sure to be well prepared. Oracle has given us the order to cooperate with you, so I'll be watching. I do not trust you. I will not forgive you if you threaten our order. Angel, Zion has several rules. Usually it's a temporary measure to prevent the fall of the city. You must always remember this. The city is in grave danger. Other than that, it's all up to you, really. I wouldn't mind if you saved us. Angel, I heard you contributed to resolving the problem with the hyperdrive. Keep it up, and do what you can. As long as it benefits Zion. Angel, I'm low. A uh, sentinel. The current situation in Zion is desperate, but I believe you'll be able to save us. Angel, the sentinels are watching you. Oracle has allowed you to enter the city. However, that doesn't mean that you can do as you please. Oh, I feel better now that we're outside. <laughs> Things can get pretty intense in the presence chamber. 
that scary looking guy wouldn't stop staring at me. I know he doesn't look it, but he's friendlier than you'd think. I have to finish the maintenance on the tetrapod before we leave. Ave, can I ask you for a favor? I ordered a propulsion control board from a parts store called Sister's Junk. Can you go pick up the order and meet me back at the safe house? Feel free to look around the city while you do. Okay. I'm going to borrow Adam's workshop for a bit. I want to tinker with the drone. All right. Let's all finish what we have to do and meet back at the tetrapod. For sisters, John. Keep going down this road till you see the stairs on the right. Anyways, it's been a while since I've seen an angel. Angel, you're not allowed to use the Exile's Passage without permission. Even if it's you, I can't give you special treatment. Looks like the Sentinels are pretty unhappy with you, Angel.
Stay away from those that disparage the Sentinels. Those types of guys can't be trusted. Angel, Zion is greatly indebted to you. safer place on Earth than Zion. I've never allowed a native invasion until now. This facility is in need of repairs. Anyway, it should be useful in understanding the current status of the city. to go to the cradle. The input unit is down by the elevator to the presence chamber. A cat exists on Earth. In Zion. It's through the presence chamber, right? Ah, Angel. Lovely to meet you. You... You don't seem very likable. <laughs> All right. You're pretty sharp. I've heard it before. Folks often compare me to a snake. I'm Roxanne. Consider me a kind of info dealer. Info dealer? Yes. Practical things. Gossip, blackmail, fears, weaknesses. I dabble in a bit of everything. Oh, I do like this, Angel. You really are my favorite customer.
Information is gold, silver, and jewels. Take a look around. For a cutie like you, I'm willing to go beyond my reach to get what you want. It's been fun, Angel. See you later. Bye-bye. All right. Stay safe, Roxanne. Forgive me. I was wrong. It is all my fault. An angel. In Zion, the prophecy will soon come true.
Angel, the Sentinels are watching you. Oracle has allowed you to enter the city. However, that doesn't mean that you can do as you please. I've been hearing about. I'm sorry, I didn't recognize you. Oh, well, you don't have to be sorry. Y yes. <laughs> Take care, Angel. I uh, know it's not much. Bye. Looks like there are many different types of people in Zion. An engineer in a place like this. Oh, the body cell is turned off. This is my client's husband. There's no love lost between him, Orkul, and the cradle. Don't bother me. Mind your own business.
halt. This is a restricted area. I haven't seen you around Zion before. Identify yourself. Wait. I'm an airborne squad member from the colony. Huh. So you're an angel. What brings you here? Looking for a tour? I was curious about the song coming from inside. I heard the Prophet gave you permission to enter the city, but that doesn't mean you can go around as you please. Of course, those who've lived in the comfort of the colony don't know anything. I don't mean any harm. I apologize if I've caused you trouble. And you, you okay? This bar used to be full of people. Now it's just so empty. Empty and dark. And Enya, same story. I wonder how long she can keep singing with her body in the state it's in. Huh. I don't even know why I'm talking about this. It's pointless. I'm trying to be sensitive, but if you need help, we might be able to fix her. After all, we do have engineering support from the Airborne Squad. What? Is that so? But I... I have no way to repay you. No. I don't need anything. I don't need any kind of incentive to save someone. All right. In that case, could you help me? Hey. What? Yeah, I guess you're not gonna help. No, ignore me. Sue, I have a question about Enya's condition. What? Shouldn't Zion's engineers be able to do something to help her? They can't. I heard they're lacking in just about everything they need. Technology, funds, basic resources. Attempting anything is only gonna make things harder for them. Okay. I'll relay this to our engineer right away.
away! Angel, if the news spreads that you're here, the Sentinels might come and take what's left. Can you not hear me? Hurry and go! Now! Are you the owner of the shop? That, that's right. At least for now. Adam sent me to pick up the new propulsion control board he ordered. I'm here. Is it ready? Hmm. Uh-huh. It's ready. I even have a spare one, too. <laughs> Good to know. Let's see. How much is that going to cost? You, you can just take this. I, uh, heard you come to help us. O of course, I'll do what I can to help you as well. Really? Then I'll accept it. Thank you. In return, is there something else I can maybe help you with? Huh? Oh, no. No. <laughs> it's just that you looked like you had something weighing on your mind. Did I? Now? Oh, I guess I can't hide anything from you, Angel. Do you want to give me the full story? All right. One day, I was out working in the scrap plains of the wasteland. When I ran into some Nitibas, I had to ditch my bike and my trunk during the escape. The bike got caught between hunks of metal. I had to leave it behind, or I wouldn't have made it out alive. A bike? Can you give me the exact location? I do have to go out to the wasteland. I'll go ahead and find out. Oh! oh thank you very much! you off guard no no it's okay what brings you here I'm heading out. Ah, yes. Please, come back if you need anything. Welcome. Sisters Junk... Oh, Angel! I didn't know it was you. Didn't mean to catch you off guard. No, no, it's okay. What brings you here? The 
southwest of the scrap plains. I'll need to search the area. Thank you so much for your help. I hope I'm not asking for too much. We all need help at some point. Don't worry about it. I'm heading out. Ah, yes. Please, come back if you need anything. Bulletin board? All right then. Let's take a look at what's happening in Zion. <laughs> 